The truth hurts. I want to hit some of you square in the jaw with this video. My goal is to poke holes in you. All right. And I want you to be able to self reflect with this video and it's going to be uncomfortable and it's supposed to be uncomfortable. I'm going to say some things that may trigger some stuff. And that's the point here because there are some hard truths to this business that go unsaid and they need to be said. And I personally can't say them directly to a specific agent, but as a whole, as a group to YouTube land out there, I can say these things. And I hope that you take these to heart and I hope you don't get frustrated with me. Don't shoot the messenger. This is stuff that I know to be true in this business. Okay. So let's start here. Think about your sales day yesterday. How did you do for some of you? You did awesome, right? For others, you had a tough day, but was it tough because you didn't have enough leads to call? Was it tough because the people that you spoke to weren't that interested? Right? Or was it tough because you had a chargeback? Somebody canceled their policy and now you've got, you know, a thousand dollars that it's going to be taken out of your account. Or was it tough because you got ghosted when you were supposed to write two apps on a husband and wife, but they didn't show up for their appointment, right? Guys, this is 100% commission sales. Life insurance telesales is 100% commission, all right? This is what every single life insurance agent in the business goes through. The top agents at the top of the leaderboards down to agents just taking their first lead. This is what you need to expect. Welcome to the show. Welcome to having the opportunity to earn an incredible income where it's not uncapped. Here's the truth, guys, and it hurts. That bad day yesterday, that bad day that you're thinking about, how much of that time was spent scrolling social media, overanalyzing your next call, talking or texting with friends, or even looking at different opportunities? And then you go home and you tell your spouse how tough your day was. Oh, I didn't make any sales or it's a tough day today. You know, we, we got to tighten up the budget a little bit, right? How would your spouse feel if they knew the truth about how you actually spent your day? That you didn't make a sale because you were just wasting your time doing mindless stuff. That you truly only worked a part-time day instead of a full-time day. It's disrespectful to those who believe in you to do that. Get that in your head. I want everybody to understand that, okay? If you're coming home complaining about how tough this you know, your work is and how you got beat up on the phones. Guys, that's part of what we do. The high highs come with lows. You have to understand that. That's part of any sales job. And yeah, I'm going there. I'm, I'm going to, I need to put things in perspective to make it hit harder because it, I, I don't understand how some people go home to their spouses and tell them they worked a full day. All right. A lot of you need to be shaken up and given a wake up call. Many of you are living in a fantasy world. You're in a brain fog. Okay, you're distracted, you're unfocused and pretending to be on the grind with the facade of a business owner, but you're working part time. You're not doing you're not doing the uncomfortable things that you need to be doing to be successful. All right. You're avoiding the hard work because it's uncomfortable for you. Right. As Trent says in our Charlotte office, and, and, and I love this. This is one of you know, this is something he says all the time. Uh, Trent is uh, our call center director in, in Charlotte, leading a, a big team over there. You need to be comfortable being uncomfortable. When you're on the phone, you need to be able to ask the hard questions to push through the objections. Okay. Those that do excel in this business. And I have to say this because it's hundred percent true. Most of you guys are wasting hours every single day being distracted and disguising it as a tough work day. We are surrounded, absolutely surrounded. I'm surrounded right here with, you know, my laptop over here and two screens right here, okay? We're surrounded by distractions and too much information. Every single day. And every day, most agents let those distractions and information consume them. They lose focus of their day and they break down mentally. I'm not talking breaking down like in the sense they go to a psych ward. I mean breaking down because they lose their focus, their motivation, their drive, because they're doing these other things, right? When I see agents failing out of, of the business with Digital BGA or any other business, and, and, and here's another hard truth here in this video, 
It's because they weren't strong enough mentally. That's it. That's it. You're weak. If you failed out of the business, you're weak. I kind of feel like the Glen Gary Glen Ross guy. You know, the leads aren't weak, you're weak. The leads are weak. The leads are weak. The f***ing leads are weak. You're weak. <laughs> I, look, I say that because that's what it is. Sales isn't made for everybody. And some of you either need to understand that and leave the business immediately. Or some of you just need to sack up, put on your big boy pants, push back, you know, push back on the uncomfortable that you have to face in this business. And understand, chargebacks are part of it. Understand, you're going to get ghosted. That not everybody's going to be a lay down lead. That some days you're just not going to get people to pick up the phone. That's part of the business as long as you give it your full effort. So the people who fail out of this business, again, they gave up on working on themselves. They gave up on the mental stuff that's holding them back. They were too good to call those not interested leads. And as we said in previous videos, if somebody says they're not interested on an initial call or, a, or an outbound internet lead, call them back in a couple weeks as a quality assurance call or just as if it never happened. You'll make sales on those all the time, but some people, they're too good to do that. They only wanna work the new leads, right? Many give up on calling leads and follow-ups after four to five attempts. You know, they got somebody to follow up, full presentation, they wanted it, but it wasn't the right time. They ghosted them a couple times keep calling, keep calling those leads. Don't give up on those. We see way too many agents give up on those. Making a sale or two is the difference between success and failing out for most agents. Okay. And some of those habits that you're too good to do that you're, that you can't mentally bring yourself to do or what's causing you to slog along this business or fail out of this business. Okay. Keep that in mind. Sometimes it's only the difference in a policy or two that's going to make or break your month. You know, our systems work. The proof is in the success stories. The failed agent systems don't work. So the failed agents in this business, right? They either leave it because it's too hard, right? They won't do the things that they're supposed to do. And I get that. And some people go into this business, they thought they had the drive, but they didn't have it. I get it. That's fine. Okay. But the other side, number two, the second reason agents fail in the business, because they believe they can do better. They believe that someone else has better leads, higher commissions, better training. These agents, they have an arrogance problem. Calling you out, guys. You have an arrogance problem because you didn't follow the system. If you would have followed the system in any high growth agency, doesn't that need to be digital BGA? It could be any high growth agency where agents are putting up big numbers, working the same leads in the same system. If you're not able to do that, that's on you. And you need to take full ownership of that, okay? If you think you can do something, you can do better somewhere else, guys, that's arrogant of you to think that you can do work a system differently and see success than agents that are working the system and seeing success. Does that make sense? Telesales is a mental game, guys. We weren't predispositioned to be rock star salespeople. It's uncomfortable, it's awkward, there's a lot of failure, but that's sales. The hard truth is, this is what you signed up for. The chargebacks, the ghosting, people not picking up the phone, right? The hint of interest, right? A lead is just a hint of interest. You can't buy lay down leads. The lay down leads are gonna be worked by, you know, the, the people generating the, the, the leads. If, they, if there is a such thing as even a lay down lead, right? Think about that. This is what you signed up for, but what happens? Okay, let's get to the good side of this. What happens if you lift that brain fog and find out what you can truly do? What happens if you begin working on yourself? What happens if those distractions go away and you become focused? People don't understand what they've done to their bodies, their entire lives has an effect on their business or how their childhood upbringing has wired their thinking, your self-confidence, your motivation. Guys, you've got to do the hard work on yourself to be successful in this business. If you find yourself having call reluctance, you've got to get past that. That's something in your head. That's something that happened in your past, right? So it's not about learning scripting, being the best presenter, carrier processes and technology. It's all really important stuff, guys. If you want to break through in this business though, truly break through, you have to spend time working on yourself 
every single day. If you feel like you're in a brain fog, it's because of the lifestyle choices that you are making. It could be a sugar addiction that you don't even know you have. It could be lack of exercise and sleep. It could be alcohol, prescription drugs. It could be an addiction to mindlessly scrolling social media and comparing yourself. That's getting you down, right? I would bet 99% of you watching this video don't even know what you're capable of output wise, okay? Because you're stuck in a cycle of brain fog. You would be shocked just how much your energy, your focus, your attitude, and even your personality changes once you kick the habits that are holding you back and break through that brain fog, right? Same thing goes for working through your past, okay? If you have low self-esteem or the lack of confidence to push through objections or to make phone calls, or you tend to blame people or your agency or your trainer or the leads or whatever, right? Um, your own, they're your own shortcomings. If you carry a negative attitude, heck, if, if, you, if you have any sort of call reluctance, guys, that comes from how you were wired as a child, okay? The things that you think, the negative emotions, the, the garbage, really just the, the bullshit in your head is what's holding you back. It's not the system, it's not the industry, it's nothing that, it's you and you have to work through that. That's a hard truth. To me, there's a clear path to success in this business, okay? Consistent activity is number one. The second is working on yourself, okay? Everything else can be learned. Scripting, presenting, right? Carriers, processes, all that stuff can be learned. But you have to put in the activity and you need to continually get better and push through those things that are holding you back. So working your, on your own hangups and pushing yourself to be constantly uncomfortable and working a fully undistracted day of activity, right? You can't help but be wildly successful in this business. Now, I know I made a lot of you uncomfortable here, right? I know it. I know at the very beginning, calling you out on the things that you're doing and seeing if you can go home to your spouse, look them in the eye and tell them that you worked a solid day. That's hard hitting. I want to be hard hitting here, right? This is an un uncomfortable video for me to make because it's not a typical video that we do. On a typical video that I do, I would never directly call an agent out, you know, uh, for being distracted and unfocused just because it becomes a confrontational experience. I just wanna broadly say this out here and challenge everybody here. This is my way of doing it. Guys, don't let your family down. Don't let yourself down. Be a better person every single day. Stop mindlessly scrolling social media. Stop taking 30 minute toilet breaks on the phone, right? I know y'all do it. Stop letting your workspace be cluttered. A messy desk, probably have a messy business. Stop reacting to all those alerts on your phone. Put those on silence. Stop comparing yourself to others. Stop consuming so much sugar and processed foods. And here's the hard truth about everything I just said. You're addicted to cheap dopamine if, if, if you identify with any of those. That's cheap dopamine and it's showing up in your business, okay? When you take all these things away, your mind will focus on the more important things of life. It may not even be work-related. It could be finding a new hobby or spending more time with your kids. You'll be shocked at just the things you find joy in once you remove that BS of your day and start working a full-time day or use those hours that you get back to be with your family. We all have the drive. All of us have the drive. Here's a self-reflective exercise to harness your drive, okay? If someone kidnapped your child and said that they would kill them in 30 days, Unless you wrote 50 life insurance applications in the next 30 days, would you write those 50 life insurance applications? Even though you've never done it before, I bet you'd find your way to do it. No matter what, wouldn't you? Of course you would. Guys, that's drive, right? That is drive. I know everyone has drive. You just need to unlock that drive. It's the lifestyle habits and emotional baggage that are holding you back that's holding that drive back. The sooner you realize that and start taking out one hour a day to work on yourself, the stuff that, that you have going on in your head or in your lifestyle, your business will change. And even more importantly, your life will change. Look, I'm not gonna come out here and go say, hey, go take cold showers, uh, go work out, go, for, go running. Like, I'm, 
everybody's different, right? Everybody is different here, but I know that all of us, even myself included, you know, should be making better lifestyle and mental changes to be a better person. So if you're slugging along in the business, it's on you. It's on nobody else but you. You've got so many layers of trash that, it, you know, just built up in your head, in your body, that it's slowing you down. The truth hurts, I know. Guys, the mental side of the business is something you control 100% of, and not myself, not our agency, not the agency you're with, not your spouse. Nobody can help you with this. Only you can. You have to decide to be better. This is a road you need to travel down alone.